Quite a mixed bag. Benjamin Britten, Nina Simone, Cab Calloway, and this last one, Jay-Z, with the track Song Cry of the 2001 album The Blueprint. Now, here's the deal. They are all among a select list of recordings that the National Recording Registry at the U.S. Library of Congress think have a special cultural and aesthetic significance. I asked Justin Hunt of Empire Distribution and a cultural commentator what he makes of Jay-Z being on the list. I think it's amazing, especially for that project. Uh, You know, The Blueprint was a standout album for a number of reasons. Culturally, it came out on 9-11. So it was one of the only things that actually stood out in the culture on such a, dare I say, notorious day, if you will. But for Jay-Z's catalog, it also signaled some of the first real human evolutions that we saw in his storytelling away from the urban plight sort of conversation. Right. It signaled his growth into business and entrepreneurship, in my view, for the first time, really gave a glimpse of who Jay-Z was and some of his interpersonal relationships. Songs like Song Cry really delved into the challenges that he was having in life and love in ways that we hadn't seen before. Um, It was a very cohesive project in that there was only if I'm not mistaken, three producers who really worked on it. I think four producers were on there, Kanye West, Just Blaze, Timbaland, and Eminem. Uh, And in that sense, it was a very sleek and very efficient project, which we hadn't heard from Jay-Z. And it reintroduced soul samples in a broad mass awareness uh, package, uh, which was also the signaling of a changing of an era, uh, one that Kanye West was instrumental in ushering in in the 2000s. How would you compare it in in the uh, in the legacy sense with another couple of uh, hip hop inductees on this National Recording Registry list? Public Enemy's Fear of a Black Planet and Grandmaster Flash and the Message. You know, I think what's interesting is that if there are seminal albums or seminal projects from each era, I, the Message is one of those. Absolutely, uh, Fear of a Black Planet. Absolutely. And so did The Blueprint in a different sort of way, right? I mean, I don't look at The Blueprint as nearly as politically charged as either of those two projects listed, but it is emotionally charged and also uh, inspirationally charged at the beginning of an era that seemed to define that. You know, the 2000s were about aspirations. It was about conquering your demons and achieving your visions. Uh, It was an era where people were able to make ideas thought up in their bedroom turn into billion dollar companies. Uh, And in that sense, the blueprint is a project that inspires not only artistically, but also aspirationally when it comes to how each of us can achieve our dreams, achieve our goals. It sounds to me like you think the National Recording Registry, when it aspires to, quote, honor the music that enriches our souls and the voices that tell our stories, they've nailed it in hip hop anyway. I definitely think so. I mean, look, I look at a song like Renegade that's on the blueprint, right? And Eminem's verse gets a lot of credit because it's phenomenal. But Jay-Z's verse to me really speaks to an era. You know, there's a line in there where he goes, no ma, no, I chose my own fate. I drove by the fork in the road and went straight. And, you know, I look at especially America, but I definitely look at where the youth were throughout the 2000s. Colleges didn't afford the same job opportunities as they did previously. You know, you had technological advancements that are taking away from traditional job opportunities. Everybody's family lost their home in the Great Recession. In a sense, all of us, in order to make it through that, had to drive through the fork in the road and go straight. It's powerful. Our thanks to Justin Hunt. You can find him on Twitter at the company man.